Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about something that's been bugging us a lot. Why does not the new Outlook have IMAP or POP support anymore? So first thing first, let's get everyone on the same page. Let's talk a brief about what is IMAP and POP. So I would say IMAP and POP are classic email protocols. Um, let's talk about IMAP first. IMAP lets you access your email from multiple devices, keeping everything sync. Think of it like your email sitting in the cloud and then multiple devices can access those email or even can create a copy on multiple devices. And still your email will exist on server or on cloud. And most of us will actually prefer this way. However, on the other hand, if we talk about POP, it is like picking up a mail from post office and bringing it home. Once you downloaded it, it's gone from server. So let's say you have two or three devices and you have configured your Outlook configuration as POP. So once that mail is downloaded from server in a particular device, it is gone. You may not be able to access it in another device. And I would say 99% of us will go for IMAP and only few in certain scenario would like to utilize POP. Now here's the real question. Why does this new Outlook 2024 ditch IMAP and POP? The simple answer is security and modern cloud integration. Microsoft is pushing everyone to use Exchange or cloud-based email system, which are much more secure and faster. With IMAP and POP, we were using something called basic auth or basic authentication, which let's be honest, is like trying to protect your house with a lock from 90s. It's outdated and easily crackable. So what's the alternative? It's all about modern protocol now. Microsoft moves to Exchange and OAuth. Yeah, it sounds nerdy, but stay with me. These ensure better encryption, multi-device syncing, and the big one, multiple factor authentication. So you might be aware of Google was using all these things in their Gmail, but now you will see your Outlook also natively support these. But then the question arises, why should you care? Well, Outlook now sync email across your devices way better. And you might have seen, you know, your Outlook previous version used to hang a lot. And this is the reason, you know, sometimes syncing take time and your overall experience also sucks. But with new Outlook and now sync email across your device is way better and it is much harder for hacker to get in. Plus with everything being cloud based, you do not have to worry about losing email if your device crashes and everything is backed up. But in certain scenario, if you would like to go with POP, then I would recommend you to go with a previous version or legacy version of Outlook. And honestly, in most of the scenario, who uses just one device anymore? With Exchange, your email will always look the same, whether you are using phone, laptop or tablet. Okay, so while the new Outlook feel like it's ditching the old school for something more futuristic, it is actually a step toward better security, smoother experience across your devices. And that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.